Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Khushbu and in this video we are going to see the question redundant connections. In this problem, a tree is an undirected graph that is connected and has no cycle. You are given a graph that started as a tree with n number of nodes labeled from 1 to n with one additional edge added. The added edge has two different vertices chosen from 1 to n and was not an edge that already existed. The graph is represented as an array edges of length n where edges of i is a of i comma b of i which indicates that there is an edge between the nodes a of i and b of i. Return an edge that can be removed so that the resulting graph is a tree of n nodes. If there are multiple answers, return the answer that occurs last in the input which is given to us. So now here there are two things that are important to us. One is the statement which is this one that if there are multiple answers, return the answer that occurs last in the input. And the second thing that is important is that there is only one node which is added additionally in the tree. And so these both statements are actually contradictory. That is you will not have more than one cycles present in the graph. And you need to find out that one edge which will eliminate the cycle. So we will see this in detail while we are seeing an example for this particular problem graphically. Let's see this example number one. Over here we have edges 1, 2, 1, 3 and 2, 3. So we can say that this 2, 3 was added afterwards which made this tree a graph. If we remove this, this is going to be a binary tree which is having 1 as a root and 3 and 2 as its left and right child. Similarly, for example, 2, this tree gets converted into a graph by adding 1, 4. And so our answer would be 1, 4. Let's take the example number 2 and see that more clearly. So here is the representation of the second example that was given to us. We are having the edges 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 1 and 1, 5. Now, what if this was a tree? it would have looked something like this wherein this is the extra edge that is added and that is going to create a cycle which converts this tree into the graph. If we delete this one, this is going to be a tree. So the question is how do we find this particular edge? And the answer to that is using disjoint sets and using the union find method. Now. What is this union find method? The name itself suggests that it has two parts to it. One is union and second is find. Find is going to find the set to which the node belongs and union is going to merge two disjointed sets. So let's take this example wherein we have these as our input and this is a universal set of nodes 1 to n. The first edge that we want is 1, 2. So now we have these two nodes 1 and 2 which are initially single nodes that is they are not present in any of the sets. So what we are going to do over here is we are going to create an edge and we are going to put these two nodes into a set that these two are related to same set. Now let's go to the next one which is 2 and 3. From this, we can see that 2 belongs to the set S1 while 3 is independent. So what we are going to do by adding this edge is doing a union of 2 comma 3 with the set S1. Let's add this edge and now we can see that all the three nodes belong to the same set. That is all the three nodes are connected. Now let's go further. Again with 3 and 4 we see that 3 is already present in my set 1 and if I want to make an edge of 3 with 4 that was a single node or an independent node I'll have to put this 4 in this particular set by attaching it with 3. So now all these 4 nodes are connected and so are present in this particular set. Now comes the interesting part. What happens when we have 1 comma 4? If I want to add an edge for 1, 4, I'll first see 
whether these belong to different sets or not but over here both of these nodes are present in set 1 so if i'm going to attach an h in that it will definitely create a cycle which we do not want and so that is our answer which means 1 comma 4 is the edge that was added which made the tree convert to a graph by forming a cycle now the part attached with the question if there are multiple answers return the answer that occurs last in the input and as i said earlier that it is a contradictory statement to the one mentioned in the question itself that there is only one edge added that means there can only be one cycle and so both of these statements are contradictory and would not happen in this question so once we get the edge that is forming a cycle that edge is going to be our resultant edge now this was the theory part for the question now how do we actually implement a union find method so let's see the implementation part for it we are again taking the same set of inputs or same set of edges that we are going to gradually add to our tree and with that over here i am going to take an array of length n plus 1 so that i can keep note of the parent for the current node and this node is the index so i am going to take an array of n plus 1 because i need the index 5 initially what is going to happen is initially a node is set to be a parent of itself and so that is the reason we are populating the array with the index value itself stating that 1 is the parent of node 1 now let's come to the first part we are taking the nodes 1 comma 2 and trying to form the edge and so we are going to find if these exist as different sets that is if they have different parents or not so we say that 2 has a parent which is 2 and that is itself so it does not have a chained parent even 1 is the parent of itself for now so these are two independent nodes and so we can connect these nodes now how do we connect these nodes for connecting the nodes we are going to perform a union by assigning either one of the nodes to be the parent of the other one so over here i am taking one as a parent of two and so i'll update the parent of this node two that is represented by the index to be one so what is effectively happening over here is we are adding both these nodes in the same set let's move on to the another node now over here what we have is node 2 and node 3 the parent of node 2 is 1 and the parent of node 1 is 1 so my actual parent the topmost level parent is node 1 and over here the topmost level parent is node 3 how do you find the topmost parent is you need to find the parent till you do not get the node itself as its parent so over here i see one is the parent of node 2 and if i go to the node 1 one is the parent of node 1 that is it is its own parent that is it does not have any other parent so this is my root and over here for 3 i am having 3 as a parent of 3 which means here itself it is the root node and both these roots are different so we can actually go and combine them by performing a union so now what we are going to do is we are going to add the parent of 2 as the parent of 3 so the parent of 3 also becomes 1 moving ahead again we are going to do same with 3 comma 4 the parent of 3 is 1 and the parent of 1 is 1 so my actual parent over here for node 3 becomes 1 and the actual parent for node 4 becomes 4 because it does not have any parent it is the parent of itself so since these two have different parents these sets can be combined and these sets can be combined means we can add an edge which will not result into a cycle so we are going to do a union and we'll assign the parent of 4 also as the topmost parent which was 1 now let's go to the next node if you see over here the parent of node 1 
is 1 and the parent of node 4 is 1 for which the parent of node 1 is 1 also. So over here we are getting 1 as the parent. That means these both belong to the same set and combining these two will form a cycle. So indeed this was the edge that was added afterwards to the tree so that it got converted into a graph that has a cycle. So if we are going to remove this node, we will get a tree representation for the graph that is given to us. So this was about the implementation process. Now let's go ahead and code it out. We will have two methods union find and we will have a parent data. Let's take a parent and this parent array will be of size edges plus 1. And initially we want to make each node the parent of itself. So we'll take a for loop and we'll mark itself as the parent of the node. Now we need two methods that is union and find. Let's write the find method first and this find method is going to return the parent of the node. So we are going to find the parent of node in the find method. For that what we are going to do is while my parent is not equal to the node, I am going to recursively go to the topmost parent. So my node becomes parent of node and finally I can just return the node that this is my parent node. So this was about the find method. Next what we want is the union method. So union method would be a void method and it is going to do the union for node. Let's take i and j. For this we need to know whether the root of both these nodes are not same. In that case only we can perform a union. Otherwise we cannot. So let's find the root. Now this will give me the root. And if the i root is not equal to j root, I am going to put the parent of j root as i root. Now, why am I taking this as j root and not j? Because it's possible that this particular j is present in another set which has a different root. So, I need to take the root and combine it with the set in which i belongs. So instead of taking j, I will take j root and otherwise we are going to do nothing but return. Now let's come into our main method and over here we will loop on all the edges and try to add them. So we will go for this part. Before adding the edge, we need to find whether these nodes are in different set or not. So we need to find whether my i and j present in this particular set are present in two different sets. So I will take if find of edge of 0 that is my i and find of edge of 1 that is my j present in this particular edge are equal I can simply return this edge because that is the one which is going to form a cycle and if not I am going to do a union of these edges. So we are going to do union of edge of 0 edge of 1 and finally just to handle the return statement we will return null over here and we are done. Let us try to run this code and there is a spelling mistake. Let us run it again and it is giving a perfect result. Let us submit this and it got submitted. The time complexity for this particular approach would be O of n. Now you will say that I have taken a while loop which is going recursively trying to find the parent but this while loop will run at most twice because in the second time we will get the root parent for that particular node. Secondly we are running this for number of edges that are present and we are running this for n plus 1 number of times. So effectively the time complexity becomes O of 2n 
or you can say O of n. And the space complexity is to store this parent array which is also O of n plus 1 which is n. So that's how we calculated the time and space complexity for this question and that's all. I hope you like the video and I'll see you in another one. So till then keep learning, keep coding.